About 12 years ago, I went to a board of trustees meeting. I had just been named to the board. And I learned for the first time that the church owed over $3 million because of construction projects that had been accomplished that were wonderful projects for the church. But when I looked at the balance sheet, I kind of became the guy that uh, the chairperson wasn't happy with because I asked the question, what's the way we're going to retire this debt, which this was in February, and the debt was maturing in December. And running my own business, I realized what debt means and that somewhere you have to pay it back. So I was given an answer when I asked that question. Well, I'm going to appoint a committee. And I guess I didn't have a very good poker face because a little bit later in the meeting, the chairperson said, you didn't like that answer, did you? And I said, no. That answer says to me, you don't have a plan. So we had a discussion and thought the congregation doesn't really know we've got this debt. And I have to believe that the congregation, if it knows about it, is going to react and is going to step forward and the debt will be taken care of. So I suggested that my family could cook a barbecue. We've done it for many, many years since I first learned how to do it in uh, uh, 1973. And we decided we would do it, but then we had to find a venue. Well, Chuck Hodges, and, and I have to tell a little story on Chuck. Chuck wasn't really that hot about doing a barbecue. He came around, to his credit, but he and I rode around uh, Clark County and Oconee County trying to find a venue. We, we didn't find one. So I came home that night, and my wife, Carolyn, who, by the way, cooks the sauce, and it's a secret recipe. We don't give it out. Mark Maxwell has tried every way he can to get the recipe, and he's not going to get it. Ultimately, I'll have a son who gets it. But she asked the question, where's the venue? And I said, we didn't find one. She said, well, did you go to Sandy Creek? And I said, no, I didn't even think about it. So we went to Sandy Creek. It was a great venue. So for several years, that's where we did the barbecue. Well, the purpose of it was to bring awareness to the congregation that we owed this money and we needed to do something. And we had forewarned those who were going to come to the barbecue. And that first barbecue, there were 400, 500 people that came. And we passed the plate. And we gave people fair warning we were going to do that. Well, that led to raising over $100,000 that evening. Next couple of years, we pass the plate again, and we raise substantial amounts of money in those. But what's wonderful is that people in the church wanted to know, how can I help? What can I do? And they generously gave uh, money to retire the debt. And after about three years, we had retired the debt. And it was because the fellowship and understanding the need and wanting to be part of the solution, I never heard anybody grumble or complain about having to give money. They didn't have to, but giving money to help with this debt. And we got it retired, and there are many of us that are very proud of the fact that it was the barbecue that gave the awareness. It wasn't the barbecue that made people give money. It was just they came together. And what happened in coming together was Sunday schools all got together and uh, cooked side dishes. And we had wonderful side dishes. The outreach class kind of organized it. They would go to Zeb's and they would get the stew. And Zeb's doesn't serve on Sundays, but they would do us uh, the privilege of having the ability to pick up the stew on Sundays. We would get it, and people love the stew. So you fast forward, and it's been a great event for the uh, congregation to come together, to see each other, to give hugs. I have people during the course of each year that come up to me and say, we're doing the barbecue again this year. Please do the barbecue again this year. I really like that event. Occasionally somebody say I like the barbecue, but it's really they like the event. So we've done it now for a lot of years. We could not do it last year for reasons that we all know. And this year we're not going to do it quite the same. We're going to do it after the church service on Sunday. Hopefully next year and for many years after that we will come back together, we'll do it as we used to do it, people will bring side dishes, and we'll continue this great tradition of fellowship.